Maestro. Hello. We are here we with are Keely, right artist, here. composer, noveller, Sarah Lipstate. Hello. We're going to talk about the Octasi. We are. Why don't you tell the people, what is this crazy pedal? This crazy pedal is the result of about three years of me combining an octave and a fuzz into one pedal. And I wanted, in the beginning, I just wanted to simply switch the order so that people could hear the difference between fuzz before and after an octave. And then it was like, well, we might as well add other pitches, you know? Everyone can have fun here. And then uh, it was like, we could probably add some chords and I could get pretty weird if I added some chords in there. And then, you know, my friends come along and they're like, hey, you got momentary switching on there? I'm like, no, but we will tomorrow. <laughs> and so, yeah. you know, we keep on adding stuff to it. And the first person we thought of was, we've got to reach out to Sarah. Oh yeah. People who are familiar with me know that I like to use a lot of pedals and I always say the magic happens when uh, the pedals come together. And so I love that you, um, brought those two effects together and that you thought about, well, what if I gave people the ability to change the order? Because again, I feel like that's when the magic happens. That really excites me. And I feel like when people get their hands on this, they're really going to uh, find a lot of inspiration from having, having that ability. Well, why don't we jump into Sarah? Um, people can go, you can you know, go to our channel, um, you can watch Sarah's performance with the octocide, but I would love for you just to kind of break down and as we're going through it, we can talk about the different functions. But starting out, you did just what we hoped people would do. You used the fuzz for an octave down mm -hmm. and you actually made your guitar like a bass. Yeah, I mean, what I love about, oh, well, I love many things about the Octasi, but um, one of the many things is I feel like it can eliminate like three pedals on my board because I have a pedal on my board specifically to make my guitar sound like a bass. But um, yeah, having the all wet mode um, and the octave down and the fuzz allows me to create a, a bass line. And I wanted to take advantage of that for the first layer of my uh, performance piece. The pitch tracking sounds great, so I really wanted to highlight that. For the first layer, I used the sci fuzz. And then for the octave, I used the uh, octave down. And then I set the blend knob to all wet to get that nice like bass line effect. With the transistor muff, we give you three different EQs, but we we're on the Psy fuzz. Why did you choose that for that bass part? Right, so when I'm layering sounds to create these like soundscape compositions, um, I have to think about the different frequencies, frequency range uh, for the piece and for the bass line, um, when I was auditioning the different uh, filter sounds, the Psy, uh, I thought this was a beautiful full sound for the bass line. And so I was like, okay, boom, we're gonna start out with this. I switched to scoop when I'm building some of the other layers and it just really allowed more space in the composition. Yeah. So for the second layer, I switched the fuzz to scoop. Then I held down the fuzz button to switch from uh, latching to momentary on the octave side. Then I switched from down to dual then I changed the ramp speed to a kind of like very quick ramp. Yeah, so what's really cool about the momentary mode that you'll see Sarah use is, as she showed, when you're engaging it, it turns on, but as soon as you let off, that ramp speed goes back to your original pitch. <laughs> I switched from octave to detune. It's still in dual mode and it's set to that pretty quick uh, ramp speed. And then I just like tap very rapidly the uh, 
the switch and it's set to momentary so you get this kind of like blippy glitchy uh sound coming in and it's just very slightly changing the pitch and then at the end i hold it down and it's uh kind of changing it uh detuning it and you get that kind of dissonant tone that's coming in so i'm taking advantage of the momentary switch and the ramp speed to kind of get this like interesting kind of glitchy um textural element So then for the last part, when I bring in the bow, I pull down these two switches to change the order. So that way the, the pitch is being processed before the fuzz. And then I go from detune to the two octaves and I, I keep it in scoop and I keep it in the uh, dual. And then I record my first layer with the bow. And then I switch from dual to the octave down and plug in the expression pedal so that way I can just use my foot to get those beautiful glissandos going and uh, close out the composition. We're just excited to see how other people use it as a creative tool like you've broken down today. So thank you for coming out. Everyone else, thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Um, feel free to go to rkfx.com and learn more about the Amasai.